Our last call for Representative McCotter comes from Orange, Massachusetts, and our line for independence. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's, there's an independent left in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just figure if we clean up our own backyards and have people do their jobs, we would have the money and the funding um, for this war. Uh, you, have, you just have a bunch of pencil pushers that don't do their job. They sit behind their desk. Um, speaking of which, um, uh, Social Security disability, since the welfare was dropped, ooh, everybody's jumping onto that, <laughs> you know? And if they study the situation more, um, I see it where I do personal care attendant, and this person is in chronic pain all the time, a uh, bad motorcycle accident. She needs her medication, but yet Mass Health just cuts her off right in the middle where she gets <laughs> deathly sick, but I know of people out there on the streets selling them. I mean, and even veterans. And until we look at our own policies and have people do something about it, we're never going to get out of this mess. I have a son-in-law fighting the war now. When he comes home, is he going to have a job to come? I mean, all these immigrants, there's so many just pencil pushes that aren't getting up doing their job. Give me any one of those jobs. I'll do it for half the price. <laughs> Thank you, caller. Well, I think that we sense from because the caller hit on a variety of subjects. We, the, I can continue to go back to the greatest generation. I'm Generation X, so I suppose that I go back to them. Uh, they, nothing offense, no offense to the baby boomers, but you know. In the final analysis, I think that the greatest generation went through four great crises. They went through the crises of industrialization with the upheaval socially and economically. They then faced down an abject evil enemy, abjectly evil enemy, Nazism, imperial Japan. They then faced the rise of the Soviet super state as a rival to democratic liberalism. And then they faced the constitutional and moral question of the civil rights struggle. They generally faced those four in consecutively. We now face the social and economic upheavals of globalization. We face war against an abject enemy, which is the fascists that we see in the Middle East. We face the rise of the Chinese communist superstate as a rival to liberal democratic governance. And we face the moral question of relativism uh, eroding our nation, which was built upon self-evident truths. Uh, the greatest generation again faced those consecutively. We face ours simultaneously. So when, we hear, when I hear a caller like that, and the frustration that they sense that their elected representatives and the government that they pay for is not addressing with those four large issues. I, I, I believe me, I understand it because yeah, we work in Washington. Uh, some people live in Washington. But we're all Americans and we're all going to feel the consequences of these four crises if they aren't addressed properly. Representative Thaddeus Mercado, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me.